Hi there Brick Builders, today we have another set that is a bit special. Where well, special doesn't really mean it does really look good, but okay it does look good, but it's not all that good, if you understand what I mean. So very special and it is also that it took me over a year to do this video, so I'm really really glad that's done now. We are talking about the Hangtai 85016 Forest Villa with 3495 pieces. Hangtai talks about that this set is a 16 plus set. I rather doubt that. For me it's an adult set and that's it. It also comes with some light bricks but I choose to do a custom light set here which will we see later among all the other stuff. But first things first, let's have a look at the box. It is a rather good looking box with a big picture of the set on the front and all the information also on the front. On the back we see some highlights and another picture of the whole set and on the side we have also a picture of the original of this set. Yes, it is a house that really exists, but everything else is a render picture. Please keep that in mind when it comes to anything else here. The real house is done by Ibek Amasov or I don't know if this was the architect or the owner, maybe both. And there's also a mock that does this house, a mock by Ork Bricks, which I only found on Flickr and didn't found any instructions to that. But in the interior it looks a bit different from the hentai set. So please if you know where to find instructions for the original mock, please tell me so that I can put the information below this video. Thank you! And if you need some links to do so or if you are interested in this house, everything I found are gonna link in the descriptions here. Next we have the instructions which are coming as a rather big book here. In there you get a lot of sub assemblies, you get a lot of non-grade hours previous steps and you get some colors that are different from the original or that what is delivered here. But since there are not so many colors in this set it's not a big problem. Maybe on the base plate which uh, consists of a lot of small plates but maybe there you're gonna get the wrong flower on the wrong plant there but maybe that's not too important anyway. There are sub-assemblies in the end every story of the building is an own sub-assembly. In the end we got 194 steps on 150 pages. Here we got the ground floor of the building. The building is a bit elevated and does have its own floor. In this floor here we got most of everything that is in terms of interior there. You got a kitchen, you got a bathroom and you got a bit of a entrance there or a kitchenette or an eating space and underneath that everything is green. You got the steps into the building there and the steps to the second floor also in this area. On the second floor we do have the bed as the most significant thing here. We also got some cupboards, some scarves, some candle holders and other stuff here. It's more a private region I guess and it's not a region to really have someone to have a good look outside even if it's glass. The next story is more like a viewing point. In the original you are almost in the branches or the, the part of the trees that really is lively in some point. In this case you can also see the first branches of the tree in the middle of the house, the selling point here. And I've used for this shot the enlightened version with my special lighting kit. So maybe that's something you're interested in as well. Looking from the top into the building without the tree in there you can look down to the ground floor even to the grass layer so that's where everything comes from and that's true with the original as well as with the set. On 
the upper floor we got a small telescope we got other possibilities to sit down there and have a good look around you also we have a bit of a deconstruction shot here on the small picture and yeah if you might think that you've seen some glue you did there's a lot of glue in here and it's not only the glue that is where the problems do start the real bigger problem and that's also what took me some time is that there are wedges there that are building the floors but <laughs> those wedges that were delivered here didn't really match so if you tried to build the set as per the instructions the wedges would curl and do have a lot of tension in there so that you couldn't really put the windows from the upper floors on there they would simply ping off and therefore i had a bit of a sanding job here sanding all the wedges for all the floors so that they would match the second problems are the windows. They're a bit milky, that's quite okay. But the bigger problem here is that they came in packages of five with a rubber band around them. Unfortunately, the rubber band did work into the top window and the bottom window and a bit on the sides also. So I had to do the baking powder trick and to sand the windows that were damaged with the baking powder powder to get at least something that does look okay it's not the best thing in the world and there are still a lot of scratches in there but you have to do something to get this thing done the next problem are the instructions in some places for example here the light bricks I don't know how those should work together to really do something like having all the light bricks uh, on at once. It didn't really work out for me, so I decided to do some custom lighting here. The light bricks on the base floor here I didn't remove, but I don't think anybody will use them in the near future. So they stayed where they are, but they are mainly unusable. Here we got the leftover parts. As far as I remember, there was nothing missing. There were a lot of pieces of those light bricks also in there, but I really don't see the point in there. Also, the screws have been missing and all the metal pieces. Opening the set, you will find two smaller boxes labeled one and two, which means you have to open box one and two and get all the packages you need for your assemblies. No, you have to open both. And to top all the work up, I also decided to do the set brick by brick, so it will self-assemble in front of your eyes. Have fun with that. So what do I think of this set? First and foremost, you've seen the problems with the set. It was a lot to do and it's, the result isn't ideal. It's still very pretty, pretty enough to be in our living room and the woman's acceptance factor is enormous compared to, let's say, a Star Wars set. But it's not real fun to do this set. First, you've seen the problems. The parts are not really in the right shapes there. You need a lot of glue because the clutch power isn't quite there. Especially for pieces that you are using a lot. Like the hinge plates that are really used a lot. For every floor there you need, I guess, 30, 40 of them. And they don't hinge too well which means the hinges are trying to separate a lot and they also don't have a lot of clutch power in the connection to the other pieces that are used there. So what I can say is that it's not really a playset. It's not that unstable when it's finished. It's a bit of a short build it and to put it together. Also reassembling it and putting something else in there. It's the clutch power that makes this really a hassle. So it's just a display set. And really for parts it's also not the best thing. I guess the most interesting parts here are the windows and they do have a problem themselves as I said earlier. Also there are a lot of plates in there for the bottom. The wedges are 
not quite to spec I guess. The bottom plates are there but they are not really smooth. The whole base assembly is not really straight. The corners are folding up and that's not something I had really expected there and it's not something that eases you with all the green stuff that is built on there which is also pinging off due to the lag and clutch power. So building the set is a real chore and I guess building anything with those pieces is also. The set to me is only for someone who really loves this shape and really wants to build it and really put the effort in there and also glue things together and is really determined to do this. So it is definitely, definitely nothing for anybody. This being said, once it's finished, it's a bit finicky, it can top over and all the stuff. If you are carrying it with a bit of caution, you will be able to do that. As I said, mine does live in the living room at this very moment. I did do a custom LED lighting kit just by using a LED strip for the outer world which didn't work out anymore. Cutting out the LEDs and connecting two of them in series and all of these pairs in parallel to a USB supply and unless you're using white or blue LEDs it does really work well with yellow, red and green which are the colors this set does suit anyway. So for this set, this is really a way you can do and it did work out rather well. I'm using a simple telephone USB adapter to power the set here and it does work very well. Didn't even need to be a powerful one or something like that, even if I had there about 80 LEDs or something like that. But on the other hand, you have to solder the whole caboodle. That's the downside. With that, building of the set is gonna continue for a while, a bit now. If you did like this video, please press the like button. If you didn't like it, please comment me that. And if you really wanna have something like this, or even better sets, please subscribe. So have fun building, have fun watching, and see you.
have no shame, there's no time for the pain, let the grind, I could change in my mind, pick a lane, commit and climb, the only way to win in life. I never miss that fact, taking big swings, put your hand to the back, put me in the ring, you'll go out in a bag, cause I sing what I mean and I bring it to the mad light. Ain't got time to kill, I got time to fail, I took a red pill, I know life's short so I wanna live real, but how's it supposed to feel? 